Though they may be siblings, they hear different cries. One fights for Troy, the other for Greece. Together they shall wreak murder, havoc, and malice. The next one, Agamemnon and Priam. King Priam, you are the Trojan king. But alas, your city's future shall be deep, for you shall fight the great king Agamemnon, Greece's very own demon. The next one is Hector. Hector, oh Hector, you are Troy's son. You are her crown, her scepter. The next one, alas, Achilles. You shall fight the noble Achilles, the greatest warrior of the Achaean fleet. <laughs> the next one, Helen. Helen, oh Helen, thy beauty is a curse. And the last, because of it, Ilios shall burst. The last one, Paris. And Paris, Paris, you coward! You seducer of women and in battle slugger. These are the characters of the great Iliad with which you, great Homer, were glad. <laughs> but still, my audience, I have my problem. Who will be favored by Providence? <laughs> By Iliad, by Homer. Let's give them five power claps. Go! <laughs> so that is the product of their careful and diligent reading of the Iliad. Hopefully you will have your own version the next time you pay. So, um, to unravel the difficulties that we encounter while reading the Iliad, I prepared a few sub words which you have to understand by simply matching them with their synonyms. So, I'd like to try the first one and call the next. Step. So, if it lies, your answer is correct. If it does not, you try again.
finally, the last word, synopsis means phrase. All right, so uh, let's see again. As I point the word, this gives me their corresponding meaning. Everybody please read and then give the meaning. Begin.